wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, my hair. <laughs> All right, there we, there we go. Awesome. It's the same color. Ken O'Brien, John, nice. Jane, last year's last name. Lowell. Lowell and <laughs> Amy DeWitt. Amy DeWitt. Oh, and there's the bikers. All right, so what is the name of this street and this, where are we? Yeah, hi. Yeah, this is uh, Bellingham Street in Menden. Okay. Mass. Bellingham, uh, and this Bellingham is street. Muddy Creek? This is uh, uh, Muddy Brook. Muddy Brook. Okay, gotcha. All right, well, we're going to go find this and thing. We're, we're here on, on what's on the maps. It's referred to as the Old Cart Path. And we're going to uh, hike up here just a short distance. We're going to come to a gas main mm -hmm. where there's, a, you know, the opening. And then we're going to go to the town-owned land and the Cook Cemetery. And so this is private land after we pass this? Yes, this, this, okay. is, this is all private land here. But yep. the Cook Cemetery in the center of it is not private. I mean, it's town-owned. Yes, owned, town it's town-owned. And, and, and there is debate as to whether or not there's public access, but I believe that there is. That's just mine. <laughs> That's our story. We're sticking to it. You got that right. There's public access to a cemetery to town. They can't landlock it. It's like... Our access to the lake. To the lake, right. You and can't. We, we have access through the Spindles property to the lake. We have a right of way. Oh, is that where the right of way is? The one bes besides the one at the beach? Right. Our, um, you know where the Spindles live on the yeah. corner. We're right across the street. We're right down their driveway and right through the addition they put on the house. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'll come here and for it to come on. Right. <laughs> so just I can't be aware of the uh, The poison ivy. Uh, Ryan, yes. could you grab that map, please? Yeah. Of which there's a So this is the journey to find the Cook Family Cemetery in Menden, Massachusetts, and it's July 30th, I think, uh, 2016. And Doc, Dr. Bill Cook, has contacted this lady here in the pink, Amy DeWitt, in the Menden Historical Society, and through a lot of phone calls, we've found out with Jane Lowell about Ken O'Brien, who was a selectman for the town and chose as a community service project to come up and clean this area, which was a cemetery grown over and in all likelihood had some of the original founders of the area, the Cook family, buried here in the late 1600s, 1600s. 1695 was when Walter Cook, 95-96, was buried here. This property is owned by the Varney family, and it's 200 plus acres. And we're transiting to get to the original cemetery. Lady. Yes. Powerful. Yes. Why? Good question. Somebody used to live back here. <laughs> okay. A little bit again. A little bit further up, there is a foundation at the top of the hill. Uh -huh. That's not a very old pole. It looks like. Uh, but it's got a number on it registered. You could find it online, probably. Ken, because one of the staples. John, could you take a picture? Yeah. One of the staples had come. Um, descendants of the staples had come, and um, thought that I guess there was a description of the house that had a, a um, that overlooked the cemetery, and he was trying to find it. Really. And um, so we traveled around, and it was really. You know, hmm. I mean, I know Shirley Cahill's house was owned by the Cooks. That was an aerial Cook house. Um, oh, was it? Yeah. 
Yep. And she actually has a letter from the Civil War that one of the cooks wrote. Um, and I asked, she gave uh, the Historical Society a copy of it. So, so did you play this course on school? Me? Uh, no, I just, well, I ran track. Oh. And then well, uh, quit sports and started yeah, our landscaping yeah. company. Oh, That's what I've done for the last few years. Well, you know, I did that when it came time for the Agricultural Commission. I went to one meeting okay. and they voted me in his so chairman. Three years or so. <laughs> Can't do that. Well, excellent. <laughs> no. Okay. I don't, I don't want to go to school because I can give up chairmanship. Do more of that. But I, I did, didn't know who was the chairman. Okay. Training for this spot, if you were to take this short trail up to where about that tree stump is, that's where the foundation, a flat floor, will be found. Is it um, stone foundation or is it port? port. Oh, okay. So it was after 1900, say, yeah, then, probably. Now, did you know that a lot, well, again, now it, it pretty much flattens out from here. Uh -huh. uh, there's um, along the gas line further down, there's a um, I opened it up a little bit so that we could find it easier because I'm going to tell you that for 15 years I've been riding up and down those trails and it wasn't until Matt said to me, Dad, what's that? Yeah, I want to go What's what? He said, there's a chimney in it. Get out of town. I stopped, got out, and I looked and said, oh my God, there's a chimney there. It looks like a tree. It's in the shadow of the trees. And so we opened it up. So there's a floor and a stone chimney. So it was somebody's cabin, little tiny thing, yeah. 12 by 12 maybe. Now is this the floor that has the poured concrete? Yeah. It also has poured concrete. Yeah. But it's oh. not not a, not a good pour, but it's, yeah. it's, it's yeah. poured huh. smooth. I wonder what that was. I don't know. Good question. <laughs> so I tell you, you know. You, you, How long have the Varneys owned this property? I don't know. When did Dick? Was it Dick or was his father? Oh, I don't know. I do know that, um, look at Dick said to me, he was talking about this land and said it was 200 and some odd acres, and he said something about the land of Bellingham, and I said, how many acres is that? He said, you don't want to know. Oh, I said, okay. <laughs> is that like too many? <laughs> Well, it seems like some people, we're not the first one to come on this trail here in a while. I mean, people, oh, no. I think they're making. they bike it or no. access it or no. something. They, they did come out here last, um, last Look, year. Isn't this interesting? This is all sand. I know. Yeah, but see, it's biking. Somebody's out here mountain biking. Yeah. Uh, they did come out here last year with a uh, big excavator. Mm -hmm. When they got to the trail, the gas line, they turned left and they went out, um, they stayed off the gas line, knocking over trees to get to the point where they would, did the digging for the uh, solar farm. Oh, okay. So we, there's, we have a rule in the state that you can put one meg on one lot. Solar. Okay. Solar. Yeah. It just so happens there are three lots that converge in a close proximity. Mm -hmm. So they're getting to put up three megawatts of solar. Wow. Yeah. 